Good morning, everyone. Here for a small check. Last couple have been pretty non-active. Uh, had a uh, raccoon get one of the caster mounds, then go down the rod and mangled the one set and also started noticing we got one that won't commit to a caster mound but has no problem coming up beside it and making its own so I moved the foothold man those ducks will literally give you heart attacks this early in the morning but like I was saying, I moved it. To uh in front of their caster mount, line set. So hopefully we pick one up that way. I also moved the 1330. That was there. I just doubled up on the one crossover. But you can see he's making his own. That trap's still bedded there. still set and then right here is that cast around that they started avoiding and they started making their own caster mounds right there and there traps gone uh, this might get interesting because I just heard the plop so I'm thinking we still got a beaver that's alive. With this is the exact scenario to what happened to me last time. Yep. Still alive. Where's my wire? Looks like a nice sized beaver. I don't know if you can see his head out there floating. Right there. Alrighty, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and get this beaver taken care of. Now I'll turn you back on. All right, there's our beaver. Got him dispatched. And this one has gotten away from quite a few. His back feet, it is a nice size beaver. 
really nice beaver. Look at the size of that beaver. Look at that tail. All I did was just had to just grab my one 330 from over in that run. When he stuck his head up, I dispatched him with the 330. Had a solid front foot catch on it. Wasn't gonna go nowhere, but I wasn't risking that. Waiting for it to drown again. Some live action this morning here. But I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'll just take these two traps up with me and I'll come back and get the other two tomorrow. Because that's our big one that got away. Right there. That's all I had left the last time I was here was them two toenails or what was left in my set and then look where it got away from someone else before. So definitely a smart beaver, but there's always a way to get them guys. There's always a way to get them. And that is a honker of a beaver. Oh man, I am so happy to get this beaver. All right, everyone. We're gonna go ahead and haul this stuff up out of here and until next time, have a good one. Or I'd like to add, like I say, they call them caster shy. I call them natural instincts. They're just trying to come at your caster head on. Right there's my caster mound where my trap was. It was coming up here and making its own caster mounds up on the bank here. All I did was blind set them and I kept reluring mine. Works every time. Nice little tip there. They're set and caster. They're shy to come to your set with the caster directly at it. Move off to the side where they're making their own caster mounds. You can see them everywhere up here. All I did was blind set them. And we got him. He's gotten away from me and obviously someone else in the other foot. But that blind set trick works every single time for me. Every single time. Have a good one, everyone.